Good morning, happy Sunday. Today's original air date is April 25th, 2021, and I wanna thank you for your time. Today's session is called The Most Beautiful Soul. God, Spirit, you know, when I say to listen to that little voice inside of you, it comes in various forms. It's not just a loud, you know, booming voice from heaven that's, that's being sarcastic. Um, it's little things you need to, to pay attention to. Uh, my grandfather used to always say that birds were messengers. Birds were messengers. Um, if you hear a bird and he keeps singing outside your window, someone's trying to say something to you. It could be th through songs. It could be through feathers on the ground. There's different forms. Um, this week I was just doing my own thing and out of nowhere, I heard the song by Prince, The Most Beautiful Girl in the World. And then it hit me, The Most Beautiful Soul in the World. I was like, okay, that's my message for Sunday. The Most Beautiful Soul. By the way, just to clear up a little bit of housekeeping, people have asked me about this rhinestone that I put here on my forehead. A lot of knowledge comes in through here. So when I wear this, this is just reminding you to think and to pursue knowledge. There's no religious ideology attached to it or anything like that. It's just this is where it, a lot of information comes in. And this is telling you to think, think and pay attention. Okay. So one thing that's kind of... Um, sad in the world is that within five say you're in a grocery store or something like that within five seconds and you see somebody you decide if they're attractive or not within five seconds don't know them don't know anything about that person but we do that we make snap judgments really quickly just based on looks and we know that looks come and go, okay? Looks come and go. And uh, there needs to be an attraction there, but looks, hey, Cody, good morning. There needs to be an attraction there, but looks are fleeting. They will fade as time goes on. I don't look like I did when I was in my 20s. Um, and uh, we just change as we get older. Now, what's more important our body or our soul we know our soul is more important so how you can make yourself one of the most beautiful souls is to work on your soul okay body or soul which one lives forever soul so it's important to take care of our body. It's important to make sure that we're in good health and that we look like we want to look. But really what needs tending to and what we don't do enough of is our soul, your soul, okay? We need to focus on beautifying it, okay? See, the thing is, and I want to think I received a gift this week for my sister. Beautiful bracelet cuff. Thank you. Thank you, Cody. It's actually a dress. Okay. See, the thing is, we are all connected. Okay. Maybe you realize it. Maybe you don't. There, right now, there's approximately seven and a half billion people on earth. And we are all connected we are, our souls are all connected. Yeah, I don't know the people who live in wherever, but our souls are all connected. So when you think about the earth and there's people all over the earth, seven and a half billion that are all connected, it's kind of like blanketing the earth with our, with our souls. So if you are a person or you know people um, 
who um, have a lot of um, hatred, uh, feeling helpless, depressed, feeling stuck, holding on to grudges, never happy with anything, has no joy in their life. Now imagine seven and a half billion people blanketing the earth with that. What kind of energy would the earth have? Pretty sad, pretty sad. And that spills over onto all of us. Versus beautifying your soul, what if seven and a half billion people had in their soul purity, wisdom, generosity, unity, even that last word unity. Can you imagine what a different place this would be if this world was full of unity? And, and the world was blanketed in that? That would be like heaven on earth. Now, you know, I'm not saying seven and a half billion people are gonna, you know, are gonna do this, but do your share, do your part, because you are part of the tapestry, the, the blanket that goes all around this world, okay? So what do we know what to focus on? Well, let's look at some of God's attributes because there's no more beautiful soul or energy than the divine creator. Let's see what he has. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. Okay. Um, but he has a, a spirit of unity. He has knowledge of the eternity. He has knowledge of the eternity. He knows it's not over when our body dies. This is just a suit we're in, okay? Full of spirituality. What if you were full of spirituality? Unmeasurable wisdom. What if you had unmeasurable wisdom? Understanding of the other side. Understanding where the other person is coming from. So if you get in an argument with somebody or you see two people disagreeing, the people can understand. They have a different perspective. They see things differently. We're all, you know, three people see a car accident, three people, you're going to get three different opinions. That's just the way that we are because of who we are and how we view the world but understanding other people's perspectives, okay? Fortitude, fortitude, eternal strength. What if you had eternal strength, okay? A respect for God and his laws. This is a big one. Respect for God and what his laws are. Okay, and lastly, purity. Pure heart, pure soul, pure everything. Everything. The, it, it's recorded in the Bible that God can't even be around shade. He can't even be around darkness, any kind of sin, because he's just so pure that he cannot coexist with that. And so that's how we need to um, come correct um, as we grow more, okay? Get the shade out, get the darkness out, and fill it with light. And for us here on earth, signs of our um, beautifying ourselves is increasing love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. All of these things are how you can be on your way to being one of the beautiful souls, one of the more beautiful souls. And this is not something, this is not like a class in school that you finish it and you're done. This is a lifetime thing where you continue to 
deepen your knowledge, deepen your wisdom, deepen your love, deepen your gentleness, your kindness, your goodness, your purity, your purity. You ever meet a really pure person with a pure heart? There's, there's nothing more beautiful. It's so beautiful. Of course, God is the most beautiful soul and he is our um, example always. And I want to encourage you this week to work on beautifying your soul. Deepen your soul. It will rub off on other people and it will make you grow as a person, make you more beautiful, make you more attractive um, because that's who you really are. That's who you really are. That's your true essence. Make it a beautiful one so we can help out. You know, we, I see so many posts on Facebook and it's like, wow, this is really bad. Wow, what, what what's the world coming to? Wow, this is really, oh. And this person said this. and but What are you doing about it? There's plenty of things we can do about it instead of just saying, you know, what's this world coming to? They were saying that in the 60s. You know, they were saying that in the Victorian era. You know, it, it's um, something that always circles back around. But what we can do is make ourselves more of a bright, shining diamond of a beautiful soul to rub off on other people. Share where you can, okay? Love where you can. And others will learn from you. Others notice, others notice. And again, pay attention to messages outside of um, you, birds, the song I heard in my head, the most beautiful girl in the world, which led to today's message. Spirit sends messages in many ways, okay? Pay attention. Pay attention to what's going around you, and um, that will give you guidance. And again, the voice inside of you. Listen to that little voice inside of you. And if you don't know where to ask, that's your first question. God, how can I become a more beautiful soul? What can I do? What can I do to be a more beautiful soul? It could be easy. You know, picking up trash on the street. You know, spending five minutes talking to a neighbor. Uh, helping somebody out. Um, there's just so many things and I've listed so many attributes. If you don't remember them, rewatch the video. So many goals for you as a soul to attain. Okay. <clears throat> there's so many things that you can work on. If you have any questions on how to do this, if you have any questions on how to be more beautiful than you are, please contact me. I'd be more than happy to hook you up. And of course, this is our goal, to become more beautiful every day. And I wish that for you. And that includes love, an abundance of love. I wish you an abundance of love. Sending you so much love. And I'll see you next week. Take care.